he did. Fred he put out a greatest hits album. Yeah. And he Fred had four Play Murder songs. Incorporated. I never heard that. It's let me not hear bad. It. It's a rock. Let me hear a little of that. Why, yeah. why you don't like it? A little it. hacky. Yeah. Let me hear it. You have it? Try it. Hey, good look. It's going to take a funny little while to find that. That's not that easy. It's on his greatest hits, Fred. But if I do that E Street Radio, the five songs I would play would be. Right. Well, I'll give you a couple. Ties That Bind. Right. I love Ties That Bind. Song. The River. Uh, I love Promised Land. Right. Uh, uh, I don't love. So those two. Oh, you let uh, him do that. I, I, I would definitely play right off the bat. Yeah. I love. Um, <laughs> This is Murder Incorporated? It no, sounds like every other guy's song. I yeah, this is Murder Incorporated. You're not crazy about this. It's not terrible. It's just a little rough. It's not unique. Have it's you heard this before? This one, I'm not sure I know. <laughs> I, I'm dancing to it. It can't be that bad. Did you go to see Bruce? Oh, I've seen him. Uh, I saw him in Boston, Hartford, twice in the, Met in the Garden. You're a real fan. Oh, I'm a huge fan. I've already seen him a hundred I don't even times. mean him springing. You just are a fan. You're passionate wife, about people. This, I got a good wife. My wife, for my birthday, October 18th, made some calls, and she got me backstage at the garden to see Bruce. So oh. I took Mike. So I can't hate Mike that much. Right. I took Mike. I took two other guys from FAN, and we went backstage to see Bruce. And after this show at the garden on the 17th of October, went into his dressing room. He had just taken a shower. I hugged him four times. Wow. Oh, my God. Did you talk to him? <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. He, he's you know, a little, he's a sports fan. Was so he a, he's a little, he's a, he knew some sports. Was he a fan of yours? Did he know uh, of you? A fan might be strong. No of, no of. He knew is, of. is better yes. than fan. Fan's I, a little I too strong. I recently had a conversation with him uh, about a year ago. I, I met him at a party. and Two times I met him at a party. And we said, the first time was very awkward, and the second time we had a good ten minute conversation. So you had a little. He's a, he's you know he's on top of that American culture and yeah. who's is he, I, your who is, favorite. Is he better than Hendrix? Is he better than Cream? Is he? Better I don't than, go that. You know, I'm not a rock historian. I know all these bands that you're referring to. I'm not a rock historian, but Bruce to me, I was 16 years old when right. I became. He was my rock and roll renaissance. In all fairness, I didn't get to hug him at the party. So you <laughs> four times, four <laughs> times. I think it was a little too much. Did you think it was weird that you kept hugging him? It's a little fruity. What are you hugging yeah. him for? Because I was so excited. Happened. I decided to say Springsteen, oh Burns. I was, I was who, who excited. Who reached for the hug first, you or I Bruce? did. I think the fourth time, maybe a little too much. But hey, what the heck? Obviously, you haven't called yet. I'm surprised you didn't have one of his security guys hug you a little harder. <laughs> I don't understand. Well, they're I could all see, sports fans. I could see seeing Bruce two, three times. <laughs> like, uh, Place in the sun. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
didn't turn I, you on. I, I shouldn't say that. I went to see 10 shows in the middle of Do you mind when Bruce gets political? He talks about 57 shots. I'd rather him not, but I'll live with it. You You're will. going for McCain. How about Springsteen? You know, how do you deal with that when he's it's Mr. Bothers Liberal? It bothers, you know? bothers me. Bothers I have to admit, because I want... Because I think... Now, listen. Musicians and athletes... Do what you do great. They don't want to hear me talking about politics on doing They want me to do sports. Right. right. I want Bruce to play music. No do way. I, do right. I need... I know Bruce is talking about the Living in the Future song and this magic. He's talking about how, in fact, we... You know, there's the world. America's changed. We right. have the spies out there. You know, Bruce is... The, Bruce, FDR had German... Had concentration camps in Flor in California during World War II. He was a Democrat. Right. Packed <laughs> the Supreme Court. He was... Is a Democrat. It's not all Republican stuff. So you, I don't, you get don't the idea like they don't know it. that. Yeah, I mean, no. We you, wanna... see, you agree with me on that? You, 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 you're more comfortable with your music. See, you see what I've learned about you. You are a real fan of, of whatever life. he likes. Oh, a fan yeah. of life. You right. like to you, you get into things. A sponge. You're a sponge. You like to go. You like to watch. You appreciate the talents of others. You, it doesn't all have to be about you. You can be the guy right. who watches others. Oh, absolutely. And appreciate absolutely. that. I can't be that. <laughs> I, but I. I appreciate that about you. Well, I, I know his stuff. point is nobody wants to hear a sports guy talk about That's place. That's my point. Talk about place in the sun for listen, 20 Listen, you were making out with Bruce Springsteen, you should have hugged him and said, I'm listen, I can't enough with the politics. I can't say that. I'm I have to give it. It's Bruce Springsteen. I, got, I have to respect Springsteen. Well, let me ask you something, though. You, you walk into the room. Bruce is standing there. You go immediately and Four hug times. him. And then you let him go. Bruce, you mind one more time? Boom. Oh, my God. You know, he, he handled it superbly. Though. Probably figured you were nuts. <laughs> he listens, doesn't he, for president? He listens. A lot of gay guys like him. Now, listen. Oh, he's funny. He's not, not that. You've never had a gay experience, have you? No. Never. Never. Even when as a young boy. You no, no, no. Okay. You're hanging around the jewelry business with your no. father. Guys no, 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 no. Never no, been no, to a Met game. No one ever seduced you. No, no. towel snapping no. incident. No. Nobody ever tried to jerk you off. No, no, no. no. Jeez. <laughs> How many times? Two times a week having sex with your wife. It I'm, varies. Two times a week, or you're not even. Uh, no, no, uh, you know, uh, I got four little kids. One They're time all... a week at least. Yeah, one time. And the rest is all masturbation. <sighs> <laughs> he's so into sports. He's had sex with his wife four times. Honey, remember, you know the commercial, the Viagra ad, or the the ad where the guy's got the tape watching sports, and he's got this beautiful girl yes. coming down. It's like middle of the afternoon. And he's debating what he should do, yeah. and he finally says, "Ah, oh, the heck with it. He's got to go upstairs with his wife." <laughs> I would sit there and watch the sports. <laughs> oh, you don't use Viagra, do you? No, never. I don't have a problem with that. Never tried it. No, I wouldn't. You wouldn't try well, Cialis, all these other stupid things. You don't do any of that. Uh, those ads are funny, Listen, though. First of all, let me thank you. <laughs> if, 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 if you've had it, if, you, if you're... Erection. Yeah. Well, I tell you, I'm saying things I would never Jesus, say. Jesus, erection. Four my, uh, lasts for four hours, sick immediate medical help. That's funny. It's funny. How about <laughs> sick in 80 women? God, uh, immediate help. Oh, oh, check boy. out now. now uh, uh, one last question. So when you get criticized in the newspaper, like sometimes I would read that guy in the Daily News. He'd be hard on well, you. Well, Raceman's uh, Mushnick post. Well, Mushnick right. was hard. Yeah, Mushnick. You don't like anybody. So, so would that affect, well, offend you? Would that affect you? Anybody is sensitive. Yeah. You, I don't Did you care ever who call you, him? Did you ever say, no, hey, wouldn't listen, do that. Pal, wouldn't He's do allowed that. to do that. Right. Hey, listen, I criticize him. He can criticize me. Right. I'll tell you. But if anybody denies the fact who is in my position that something like that doesn't bother you, nobody's that thick-skinned. Right. Yeah. Once in a while, okay, but he does pound me a lot. What's so, the worst thing he ever said about you? Uh, that I'm a mean-spirited guy. Is that a legitimate comment? No, absolutely not. You are not mean-spirited. Absolutely not. Why do you think he thinks you're mean-spirited? Well, this is a long time ago with me and Mike having our issues 15 years ago, and he okay. said, one buddy, some, uh, uh, an employee of Chris, uh, a co-worker of Christopher Russo WFAN says he's a mean-spirited, not to say low light, but a mean-spirited guy. And the one thing I'm not is mean-spirited. Okay. That was that was out of that line. That hurt you. That bothered me. That bothered you. bothered my parents, too. I tell you, I, I like you guys. bothered Tony in Santa Fe. <laughs> it did. I obviously, I, you know, I'm a fan of you guys. I like you guys a lot. But I do, I got to admit, it's like a guilty pleasure. I read Mushnick every Sunday in the post. And he does have it in for you. And when he well, mentions, Mike when he too, mentions he kills Howard, Mike. Yeah, yeah. When he mentions Howard, he, some of the points are stupid. It just seems like he has a personal thing almost. But he, he it was he's a good writer. And he read a, Oh, he, he, he's smart. He wrote a he's funny smart. one about you guys repeating yourselves. Uh, did you? <laughs> uh, I didn't mean that. He, you, he listened you ever... closely and he made. It was just a funny yeah, article. Yeah, he's funny. Yeah, I you, didn't. Would you ever have him on your show, even though he's personal? We've had him on. Yeah, I, I don't have a problem with that. If yeah. there was a reason to have him on, you got. You know what you got to do? You think of the fans first. Right. Fans come first, and if he can add the quality to the show, you put him you on. You put your things aside. Absolutely. You have to. 